The Manx Museum is 100 years old this year. It is home to an extraordinary collection of artefacts and archives that help tell the story of the Isle of Man and its people. To celebrate our centenary, we have curated a special exhibition and podcast, Museum 100, which will feature a kaleidoscope of treasures from our collections. My name is Wendy Thurkettle. I'm an archivist at the Museum Library in Douglas. And in front of us is the architectural plan of the entrance front and end elevations of a proposed Manx Museum dated March 1905. It is one of a set of three coloured plans created by architect Armitage Rigby for consideration by the Manx Museum and Ancient Monuments trustees. Taken with the other two plans, it shows that Rigby had gone to considerable effort. A ground plan depicts galleries and workspaces set around a courtyard-style garden and adjoining caretaker's premises. I was intrigued by the scheme, so checked the relevant minute book of the trustees for more context and found no mention of it being discussed. Thankfully, two particularly illuminating letters from the architect survive, written to Philip Kermode, a Ramsey advocate and antiquarian heavily involved in trust affairs. In July 1905, Rigby writes, acknowledging Kermode's letter regarding a proposed Manx museum, stating he'll be pleased to help in any way he can and will draft plans. He explains that if the building is erected, he would likely make charges, but otherwise will help on the scheme without pay. He notes that Kermode has not mentioned a probable site, writing, I suppose you've not gone as far as that yet. This affects the lighting arrangements a good deal, but of course I can make provisional plans for the present purpose. The next is a covering letter dated in March 1905, which reads, I am sending by this post some sketch plans for the proposed museum, which I hope you will like. I showed them to the governor this morning and he was much pleased with them. I also suggested the site near the Roman Catholic Church, which also took his fancy. Of course, the exact arrangement of windows, etc., will have to depend on the site and aspect. Rigby's scheme was not adopted, and its strengths and weaknesses are for others to determine. But as a long-standing archivist working within the library, I do note that it made no provision for a library. The spaces as set out show the priorities of the time. From the entrance, walking clockwise, galleries are devoted to geology, botany, invertebrates, vertebrates, stone implements, bronze implements, historical implements and furniture, then runic and other Manx crosses. We know that the Manx Museum and Ancient Monument Trustees adopted a memorandum in December 1896 providing details of the intended museum's collection, its building, cost and means of funding. The location was to be in Douglas with a minimum 5,000 square feet footprint and provision for future enlargement if possible. In the 1890s, possible museum sites were inspected and inquired after. Castle Russian was selected to be used as a temporary base pending the creation of a permanent museum. So it remained until early November 1922 when the Old Nobles Isle of Man Hospital on the intersection of Crellins Hill and Kingsford Grove opened as the Manx Museum. (laughs) 